In this video guys, I'm going to show you how to open one of the new Dell laptop 2017. First thing that we have to do is remove all the screws are under the glow part. So first thing, we take out the battery, take out the, the DVD unit. Make sure you take it out with both hands so it's more easier and you don't break the actual unit. Put it aside with the actual screw that has and then take out these two screws that are under the battery. Make sure you leave them together. So in that way it's not hard for you to put them back into the laptop. We have to do three screws under the DVD unit. Don't forget to remove these three screws because if not you could break the actual chassis whenever you're taking it, taking it out from the actual uh, unit. We have to confirm that all the screws has been removed. Double check it around it, and then go in the middle ones, right, this one, and then check the one below part, and then go by the DVD section that all of them are removed. After that, we have to actually flip the laptop. Once we flip it, we have to take out the actual keyboard. The way that you take out the actual keyboard is way easier. You could use like a flat screwdriver. And with a flat screwdriver, you have like little clips, clips that you actually see it on the actual toe part of the actual keyboard. It's very simple. You just push it and lift it, push it and lift it, push it and lift it. Push it. And lift it. And then push it and lift it. Once you perform that, you're gonna lift it with your fingers a little bit and go kind of slow. And then you have your keyboard out. And then slide it, slide it, and then slide it. That's it. Make sure that you don't destroy the flex of the keyboard. Leave this plastic piece and then take out the actual flex. Put the keyboard aside. And then you have to remove one, two, three, four, five screws. Make sure you put those aside together too, so in that way it's more easier to you to put them back.
and this one you have to leave the plastic and then slide it when you perform that the easiest and convenient way to take out the below part of the chassis is by putting your finger right here and lifting it from here when you lift it from there you flip it over and once you flip it over all right one all the screws has been removed we should hold the border of the main chassis and then start lifting this one you're gonna hear some clicks whenever you're lifting continue lifting don't get scared it's gonna make some noises the lift and the lift and then lift this section right here and finally we could remove the cover after the actual cover has been removed we have access for our memory RAM to upgrade it for more if we want. Make sure it's a DDR4, the one that we use on this one. The actual hard drive is in here. We could upgrade it to a SSD if we want, or a higher capacity one. We got the wireless card right here, and we got the processor under the heatsink. In case that you guys want to upgrade your memory RAM, the thing that you have to do is slide over the locks. It's gonna lift by itself. And then this is the memory RAM that we have. It's a DDR4. The way that we put it back, in case you have an extra one, you push it a little bit and then bring it down. And you're gonna be locked in case that you guys want to upgrade your hard drive you have to remove the four screws right here one two three and four and leave this plastic holder right here when everything has been removed we lift over the hard drive and we slide it over so in here to take out the actual hardware from the frame you have to remove these screws before in total and then be the only thing that you have to do is attach the actual connector from the SATA unit and put it to the new hard drive and then put it back with the connector And then make sure the hardware is in place. Put the screws back together. Now let me show you the processor under this section. I'm gonna remove the four screws that are holding. This is the heat sink.
and so far you guys see that it's a uh, all-in-one chipset right there and this laptop the actual processor and the chipset are all in one they are actually attached to the motherboard so if you guys want to replace it that's uh, an additional a step that you guys need to take now it's time to put all the pieces back together so first thing will be to put the heat sink back in place Once we have that on place, we have to actually flip over the chassis, just align it, and just start pushing down. First thing, very important, put the one for the DVD unit first on place. Remember that the one that are very clear, not the black ones. Should be the silver ones. Next step, flip the laptop, open it, and make sure that the flex we lift it over has to pass on top of this section. Make sure you don't break it, go slow and lift it over and then Put it on the actual main part, and then after that we have to put the actual screws that are below the keyboard section. After that we have to put our keyboard back. And then put down the actual plastic holder and then we have to slide over the actual keyboard and then just push it down you will hit the four clips when that's done 
we have to work on the below part of the laptop and put all the screws back in place make sure you got them by group so put the first the one below the actual battery the floppy unit we have to slide it over once it's slide over remember to put the actual screw that hold the actual unit and then put back all the actual screws The easiest thing that I do is like put all of them in place. And then I start from one of the corners. And I know I have to keep going on the same direction until I finish and I get all of them screwing. That's the last one, and then we put the battery back in. Flip it over the laptop, and that's it. You are set.